Hello, my name is Andrew today with the Bible. The Bible title is David the Brave Boy. I will come on out, say Korea. The giant, come on out and fight with me. If I were fighting with the Prince Highness, Korea was the strongest Prince soldier. King Saul, the Israel's son, was scary. I will fight with Goliath, said David. David put food to his brothers. They were the strong soldier in King Saul. I mean, they were the soldier in King Saul army. David was mad because Goliath was making fun of God's army. You are a young boy. Goliath is giant soldier, said King Saul. I protect my sheep from the lion and bear. God will be with me. King Saul gave his armor the to David, but it was too big and heavy to bear. David stood before Goliath. He had stones and a sling in his hand. Goliath was upset to see a young boy, David. Stones and a sling. Sling, do you think I'm puppy? I came for before you in the name of God. You made fun of God, I mean, didn't you? I will let the world know that God is a life. God doesn't need a sword or a spear. Say David, David put a stone in his sling. He let the stone fly. The stone hit Goliath's forehead and he fell to the ground. David ran to Goliath and took his sword. David won. You are very brave, David, said King Saul. David was really brave. Everyone said David was brave, but David now God helped him. Good friend David was Jonathan. King Saul saw David defeat the beast King Saul knew David loved King Saul now. David was a King Saul's son. I, David himself now, David was brave. Jonathan was King, King Saul's son. Jonathan loved God too. Prince Jonathan liked David with all his heart. Jonathan loved David as he loved himself. Jonathan promised David that he'd, he'd be his best friend. Jonathan had many nice things. Jonathan gave David his best sword. Jonathan also gave David his bow and arrow. Jonathan gave David his nice jacket. This will let people know that you are my friend, said Jonathan. Thank you for giving me your precious thing. Thank you for you for being my best friend, said David. David became a horrible general of Israel. He won many battles. The Israel sang for David. King Saul killed 
thousand, but David killed ten of thousands. This made King Saul mad and jealous. King Saul tried to harm David. Jonathan helped David run away from King Saul. Next chapter is the wise King Solomon. Hurry, King Solomon! Shout, people! Solomon became a new king of Israel. Solomon loved God and obeyed David. Did obey David teaching. Solomon worshipped God and with a thousand animals at Gibeon. God knows Solomon loved him. God told him in this dream, Ask for anything you want, Solomon. Solomon asked God, I want to know the difference between right and wrong to give a wisdom. God was pleased with his answer. Solomon didn't ask for what will. He didn't ask for long life. He asked for wisdom. I will give you wisdom and I will make you rich. I will make your life long if you follow me. God bless Solomon. One day, two mother came to Solomon. This is my baby, said the one mother. No, this is my baby. Say another, we live in the same house. We both have a baby. One of the babies died during at night, and she sweet the baby. The two mother and God. King Solomon said, "Bring me a sword." The king man, king's man, bar calls, but put a sword. The king God cut the living baby and gave half to one and half to another. No, the baby real mother was heartbroken. Don't kill the baby, just give the living baby to her, said mother crying. Good, said the other mother. So King Solomon got the who is real mother? Don't kill the baby. Give the baby to crying mother. Old king is very wise. People was amazing. People of Israel of respect King Solomon. King Solomon ruled Israel with God wisdom. Though Israel lived happy to peaceful in Solomon day. Yeah, today we read the Bible. You enjoy your time. You enjoy your See you next time.